This is Chris with TNC Heating and Cooling, and today I have Tabitha with me. Hello. Today we're going to talk about how to prepare a recovery tank for uh, recovery. You have two sides of this. You have a liquid and a vapor. Uh, the liquid does have a dip tube that goes all the way down, pulls the liquid out, vapor, the vapor is up top. This is a brand new recovery tank, so uh, we need to pull a vacuum on this, make sure that it's ready to go. What I'm going to have Tabitha do is hook up uh, one end to the vacuum pump. A few things that you're just going to need. Obviously the recovery tank, a micron gauge, a vacuum rated hose, and a vacuum pump. So she has that side hooked up. I will hook up this side. Uh, and I'm just going to connect it to the liquid side. For the vacuum, it, it doesn't really matter. Just have the vacuum hose on one side for micron gauge and we are going to attach that to the other side. Turn on our micron gauge, make sure our connections are all tight. If you want, let's go ahead and turn on the vacuum pump. On this vacuum pump, we do have a uh, valve right there that just isolates the pump from the hoses. So we're going to open that valve right there. Since we have the hose connected to the liquid side, we're going to open the liquid side first. And then we're going to open up the other side. So we're going to shoot for about 500 microns. So as you see, we're below 500 microns. I'm just going to close off the vapor side or the side that's connected to the micron gauge. And then we're going to close the liquid side or the opposite side. We're going to shut off that lever. And we can turn it on. You have just prepared yourself a recovery tank for recovering refrigerant. This is Chris and Tabitha with TNC Heating and Cooling. Thanks for watching.